together with the Krieg, where you're just able to walk into bomb sites and use your skill to entry. That'll be interesting to see if uh, we get that on the T side for phase. But here we are, live into the pistol round with the opening games of Blast Pro Series Copenhagen. And Olaf, you have to admire this. He's going to push right down, and that goose on a glaive that forces him back might help out massively. Not able to spot this information, and that's a great shot from Olaf. So Magus, though, looked like he could have had the follow-up, but that's not going to be possible. Rain will get a kill on Glaive as well, and that leaves Sip and Device kind of weirdly boxed in. They're going to get a kill on Olaf, and somehow they're bringing it back. At least it is a 2-on-3 with Nico being quite low on health. But this is Ooh. doable Device with the turnaround on the Glock. That's not good news for FaZe. No, that's the kill that, that you couldn't. That's the kill that might swing this in, in Astralis' favor. Look at Nico's HP. Six health alone at the B bomb site. Rain is going to be pushed up in these A-holes, so they're trying to gather information, but Astralis has a minute to work with. And if Rain goes for this peak, I think they've just gotten past it, and he's too far to hear the footsteps, so, oh, this is the worst possible timing, but now he's going to realize what's happening. Now he can hear the footsteps. Yeah, at least he can call in the backup, right? He gets to start the rotation from Nico or on the other side. Smoke is up as well. I think Rainier yeah, knows someone is in there. What a beautiful headshot to bring down Device. That is the power of Rain in any pistol round. One of the best in the world. And he's going to get Molotov off, but that's fine. Nico is still hot on the on the pursuit here. Going to be heading towards the A-bomb site. And now Sip goes for the fight. Immediate shot down and falls back. He knows Rain is up there. Can the Norwegian do it again? He's waiting. But Sip, of course, with the clutch in the pistol round. And a really nice round out of him for the triple. Yeah, just had an always a decision you have to make. I think Brokey was in that position in this round. Was when do you fall back? When do you I think at least, oh, they're going to be flashing their way out. They really want to. One flashbang and a, and a fair few pistols. Timing is obviously going to be everything for this kind of a play. They're, they're just waiting. There it is, finally. Brokey running in. A little bit of a fight there. Magus with a good return. And that, those kills needed to happen really quickly. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, that's not ideal. You're exactly right, though. That kill took way too long to come out. And oh, what a great shot from Brokey into a one on one. He's got a chance. Smoke's gonna go down. He's got an AK 47. But again, it's Zip. Just always alive. Always ready to try and clutch it. No armor here. Zip gonna come right through it. No win it. What a great round here. Out of the young star. In a pretty good position to do that. And they might not check for both of them now. Even Nico is coming in to try and assist over at this bomb site. This is a great read out of phase, and this should be a round for them every single time. You've got this kind of a setup. There's 15 seconds on the clock. You more grenades going down. And the lineup there. Nico only with one kill. Cold Sierra gonna be going down and broken. Step in the bomb site, but he goes down to the pre. That is nothing like what I was expecting. That's almost unforgivable for FaZe here. They had this round all perfectly lined up. You have to win a round like this one. This flank says it all. This is everything for the round. Olaf comes around the corner. That's a great shot. Zip was getting ready for the peak. And Dupree, he's turned from the flashbang. He knows what's coming. And Olaf comes out on top again. To Astralis for the fantastic trading into the bomb site. But you have to say, if, if anything, you know, I'm having so many tools at your disposal when the hit eventually does come in. Man, that's quick. Swaps to the AK. I mean, it happens. Zip gonna lead the way into the holes, and Rain's got a deep angle. Glaive is getting dinked as well. They've got up mid. Glaive is alone with the bomb. Corsair is gonna get a freebie here, and this is where it gets dicey. I cannot believe to see Glaive with low HP leading the way like this, but he might catch one. They're being very cautious about editing, but not cautious enough. Exiting, excuse me. Yeah, that was, I mean, that's a good kill, but there's still a man down, and they're stretched out all across the middle. I think now Device is going to go back and look at Banana and just find out what's going on. But as they... I think they just want information, Astralis, and as they're trying to get that info, they're just bleeding more players along the way. And even nice push there for Nico to catch Sip with the bomb, leaving Device in a one versus four. And this is looking so good right now for FaZe. Yeah. They love everything about this Device. They get caught off guard jumping. And that's... Uh, yeah. But one of the teams, surely, that you, you might think, that's going to be a rough game, right? So... If they can win this one phase, I think they're going to be so much more confident uh, a little bit later on. You know, Liquid definitely is going to be uh, a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, they're going, to have, uh, they're going to have some things to say, you'd have to imagine, in this tournament. Ooh, nice shot from Olaf, picking him out of the sky to follow up, and Olaf is an offer, apparently. Returning to, uh, to, to that stuff, it's interesting. It's after winning, like, a close, you know, second round, like, yeah. you know, all, all over the board. Oh, this aggression, not... Don't often see that angle, but he does get away with it. And Dupree is taken out of the fight. Glaive is a little damaged. Brokey, a young man defending the B site all alone. 
And Glaive's got a crossfire to contend with and try and make this beast what happen. He's gonna go down for free, but Nico just spots nothing. Cold Zera's gotta hustle back, and Brokey's just put a smoke down in the choke point, but Astralis have to go through it. Yeah, they know that's the only chance trying to jump over the shots, and at least they'll get him through the smoke, but still a two on four here, and a low chance for Astralis to try and win this. 30 seconds, and even it looked like they were maybe gonna come through the smoke, but I'm glad they didn't phase. You should definitely play this on the numbers, right? Two versus four, even if the bomb goes down, you should have a good uh, time of it here. Sip. Not hitting anything through the wood board up there, but maybe they can still win it. That that attention from Zip is actually going to delay Olaf. He's got to be way more cautious, so you can see it is slowing down this retake. Zip going for the fight. Now he's smoked off, and he has to come back and try and fight. He walks right into a flashbang and then a bullet, and that's a pretty lethal combination. He'll take him right down eight now. Triple kill for Nico in the round, and the defuse right at the end, and Faze still on fire. We've been talking about how cool it would be down the stretch of this year if EG, Liquid, and Astralis all had this grinded out battle, hey! winning different events and being the big challengers. Any kind of control of brackets. And Cold Zero, he wants some information. He's going to keep it on the floor. It's a little bit late, and he almost gets two. Cool idea, but now look at the follow-up here. They know Broke, he's going to be alone. I think they've actually they've encountered that uh, retake of Banana before. Broke, nice kill, but couldn't get the follow-up. And now three on three for FaZe to try and retake. And this might be one of those scenarios where you, you just post up, you see if you can get an easy kill, and you can. Nico, he was ready for it. You even saw him pre-aiming that as the smoke was going up. And that's the vice down. And that's why you it's a good thing to hang, hang around, right? Now they might actually feel the confidence here to try and go for it. Smoke on the one side there. Molotov in the back. Not going to catch anybody. But uh, Dupree and Sip here. Two on three. And the bombers take quite far away. Dupree turning for the grenades. A nice crouch in. And Nico with one more kill. And they even bring Sip low for the smoke. And he's just ready and waiting for him. to get one. The lineup, it almost is there. That could have been a beautiful deny of the defuse. But instead of his buy. So he's going to dip down uh, quite a bit, actually. But, I mean, you had such a healthy economy. There's no And it's not this time. You have to realize there's an AWP on the other side. Yeah, that is a little bit of a giveaway. Now they're gonna try and take shoulder peek it up. Cold Zero though. You're gonna have to get up really early to catch him with that kind of a maneuver. Broke Boost it up here. Glaive. That's a lot of angles for him to cover. He's still pressing the issue, and that's a problem. There's even a rotation coming into the perfect time here. Nico, he'll only get the one kill for this. 40 seconds left. And Cold Zero. One more pickup with the AWP. And now they're in trouble. Astralis here. Sip, it's a nice boost up and a nice kill. And Debris trying to manage that angle. They'll actually get that one too. Two on two with 25 seconds left. No bomb hunt yet. And a nice shot from Rain. That makes all the difference. Cold Sierra. A very weird situation. Pushing towards CT spawn because you don't have access to the bomb site. I will say, Cold Zero gets a phenomenal triple kill with the AWP. Uh, he seemed... And you're right about Astralis as well. That's a good point. Like, you definitely, definitely want to make sure that they are all the way gone before you start celebrating. Like, with Jason Voorhees of Counter-Strike, right? Just, you know. <laughs> Not, not even enough to throw them in the lake and, or like anything like that. Just gotta, gotta make absolutely sure. Rain goes down after a bit of a, an aggressive push up in the hallways, but all of my still down here. And it's been a while since he's missed any shots. Now, Device will actually win the fight against him with the AK-47. It's still a 2-1-3 with 30 seconds left. And he's coming up now with the... Pl oh, actually, doesn't even want to cross himself. Just giving it to Dupree. One smoke on Cold Zera. He's swapped away from the AWP as well. They can put that smoke towards Pit to try and neutralize device as much as humanly possible. And he's actually going to wait in library. Nico and Brokey working their way towards brackets, being cautious of a late peak. This is still a tough retake. A nice crossfire is set up. If Cold Zera doesn't play this well, if he goes down too early, I'm not sure FaZe will have what it takes to get into the site. Smoke is down, but not towards the pit. So Device has got at least some space to work with here. And he sees them standing up. Oh, that's a beautiful line. That could have been a double kill already, but it's not. And now instead, he's in trouble. Down to the pit, just gets the reload in. But it doesn't matter. Cold Syrah will pick up the kill. And they're going to go for the defuse. And they'll have enough time for it as well. That's 12 rounds now if you're uh, keeping count at home. It is a smack, though. Just could have been a little bit harder of a smack, I guess. Yeah, the kind that, you know, still got... Nico going to jump across. AWP is still in Olaf's hands, and Nico, he's been playing a good game so far. He's been very aggressive. He wants that early fight, and he's going to win it. Tapping away, he finds a headshot, and he's ready for more. He's ready for someone to try and punish this position, and he's sticking around because he wants that duel. If I'm Dupree, because Dupree is like late out of spawn for God knows what reason, and I get I get killed, and I'm just like, why me? Why are you fighting that, you know, late even in the round? They're going to try and push through all the smoke, and they've been a bit successful at that. 
A little bit of a tense situation as Device will be taking down Brokey, but Cold Sierra still hiding in the back of the site with the M4. Immediate knockout punch and a double kill to take down Glaive. The bomb is on the ground and now back up is here. Cold Sierra with one kill and sip. The smoke is fading and that'll be his end. 13 to 2 in favor of Fate. Kind of percolate on that pretty soon here. Yeah, this was this was something else, wasn't it? I mean, it, it's just, it's just been so impressive, and it's been dominant. I, mean, you could, I kind of started to feel like they, they looked early. Yeah, it's going to have to be a little bit different, doesn't it? No P250 there on the on the T side. I mean, Inferno's map, but you can get those Glocks reliably quite close to the target, so I'm less worried about it. 5-7, though, on Glaive, which is a, that's an interesting pickup. You can take fights for a long time, but Brokey will have taken down Device, and out Glaive's alone. He was actually banking on Device being here. Can you see the result? He's getting double teamed. Then again, it's Brokey and Cold Sierra to bring him right down. Imagine being a rookie brought into this team and being told you are going to pair up with Cold Zero, one of the best players in the world. And they just, oh, that's a nice tap. Not going to get any of the follow-up, and Zip is rotating back. He was just trying to sneak away. He does have utility. No armor, which could be a problem. And there's the Peaky. Almost catches him with a smoke in their hand, but he's got to be careful. Nade is out. There needs to be a smoke for the crossing. It comes in. Zip trying to time the shots. 40 seconds left, and Olaf is going to get that bomb down. The three has to rotate over, and Astralis... We've got, you know, two or three people here. Let's try and run it down. And maybe you do run into Sip, who's just sniping away at people, but they calmly did that, right? They stay checking, they shoulder peek, they find him, they... Mew, that... that caused one of those rounds to be turned Ooh. away. That's a great shot from Brokey, and good teamwork from Cold Zero and Brokey. Doing a good job of just shoulder his high on this kid. Well, that's amazing news for them, definitely. If, 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 if that's what it takes, you know, him and Cold Zero, then... I'm all for the way they're looking right now. Maybe we did jinx him because you just did get bombed by <laughs> Sip. So apologies for that. Yeah, Olaf That's ate some nades as well. Cast the curse is also something you have to deal with in this line of work, apparently. So. Yep. And we have a Mac 7 and an MP9 on the Astralis side. Shame is that those are the Mac 10s. Those are the things that are supposed to be the all out aggression creating the space. One's gone and one has 5 HP. Olaf. And you don't even want to pass him with five health. You don't even want to pass him the Krieg. Now, FaZe Clan continuing to march up Banana might just be the perfect call. It's only Glaive here, and he does have a smoke. He's going to put it down, but uh, you have to wonder, does FaZe want to go through that? Glaive was banking on the fact that maybe they wouldn't. Flashbang comes in, and he's pushed back. And he can't even do anything himself to really set up any kind of a grenade. So this might have been uh, the right call for FaZe. Uh, definitely a scary one. We could see that there was only one guy on the other side, but they have no way of knowing that. Bomb will be planted here. Device trying to sneak a kill in on Rain, and actually that's almost successful. So they're, they're a little bit low on health now. Astralis has to go for this, though. That's the tough part. You may not feel like you want to. The Mag-7 feels like it's going to be out of place, but they have to do what they can. Well, that Molotov just went down to construction, and, I mean, that's time they really don't have. They still have another four kills to find in this round. They need to start running and shooting, or they're simply going to run out of time here. And that rain, that's a nice snipe away. Now the Krieg on full auto. Not really getting the kill, but it'll distract a bit, and Cold Zero will pick up one, and it's all done here. The Pre will fall, and a nice double for Nico at the end. So 15 to 2. 20 in here, but... The deal does. The yeah. deal's done work. Magus is going to stick around. You're definitely hearing that noise of the guy dropping off, so he might be in a perfect position. Oh, wait. They're waiting for him. That was actually pretty smart. Device still gets a kill on Vrain, and it's a 4-on-4, four four and holding the uh, close angle there is Glaive. Still, what a nice peek from Nico. That's a huge fight to be winning. Yeah, Glaive peeked right into it. Got a dink, but can't finish off the kill. And again, look at how poised FaZe is. Not committing to anything. Happy to find those frags as Megas gets aggressive. Glaive was aggressive down Banana. Still 45 seconds to work with, and they've got a little bit of control towards each one of the bomb sites. Olaf controlling Banana. Cold Zera jumped up in towards the window, has presence in A halls. And FaZe rotating back to his position. When they do eventually get here, time's going to be low. They're walking and keeping quiet across the map. We just passed the 30 second mark. It's Dupree with that shotgun, and he better be surgical. Yeah, with a shotgun. I don't know if that's even allowed. Ooh, a little bit of damage. The bomb is down. They don't want to keep that corner. And Olaf Meister, that's a critical kill. If, they, if he doesn't get that right away, I think the round is probably going to be over. 10 seconds on the clock, and 
Brokey playing close, hearing the rotation. Gonna go straight for the fight and taking down Device, and that might have been the last kill they needed in this round. Sip now in a one versus three, and I have no idea how you even dream of not just, you know, diffusing the bomb, but finding all the kills that are relevant here. They would have to make a mistake, and right now, FaZe has been making, well, pretty much none for the last 15 rounds. Sip now creeping in. At least he's got the creep, but he's out of time almost already here. Smoke. Hard to say if that'll help him all that much. And I think it hurts him. Yeah, it just might. He's going to try and come through. Cold Zero will take him down. And 16 rounds in a row for FaZe to bring down Astralis. What a way to get started here with the first round of matches at Blast Pro. That actually makes me so happy. I'm so glad that FaZe just opened up the event that way. What a statement win. 16-2, a dominant performance. You had your...